he who thinks always of the lord which way can he will come to him said sharada devi the holy mother sri sri ma of the ramkrishna movement was a wife and spiritual counselor ramkrishna paramahamsa 19th century hindu mystic sharada devi said he who thinks always of the lord that means if your mind is concentrated on your roots on your sanskrit the lord means the sanskriti the culture lord means your roots your roots means the family tree which way can he will come to him when that has got a tradition of each family has got a tradition of 800000 years where can you ever think of fear or evil the fear is stopping you from being more creative the fear is creating diseases and ill health and then you are forced to go to strangers called the hospitals strangers called spiritual places ashrams temples masjids hence the poverty of land can never be wiped out if your focus goes wrong sharada devi said he who thinks always of the lord always of the lord means when your mind is working very 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 fast it is not plus sign it is additional it is multiplication when you multiply your thinking and it is you don't have to multiply the brain works in that directions when you go work very hard what the zen master said is no work no food when the brain works in that speed to remove all the evils and create a beautiful path for what you have already enjoyed by your ancestors and you create another for the another generation you can come back to your heart in the evening to say om shanti 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 that is peace prevails everywhere sharada devi said he who thinks always of the lord so always think of the lord means your lover that you and your lover is become one when father and mother thinks only about them and they both become one then the children will never live in fear because they have taught them the first step first sign of togetherness that positive and negative can create electricity and when they are together nobody can break them like shankaracharya defeated his opponent but her his wife came and said i and my husband is one that is my hindu tradition if you have defeated my husband the other half is my me you have to defeat me otherwise you cannot say you are one can you believe such is the power when that power everybody forgot and became greedy then you are accepting gaps a lot of gaps and that gaps are called the communication gaps communication gaps the greatest hurdle of any development sharada devi said he who thinks always of the lord whenever you go when you father and mother husband wife is together the children and the father and mother is together and in that togetherness you can understand you are not frightened of the joint family you are frightened of your relatives because you are not together when you are together you join family you never fear you try to absorb them as much as possible and then you know he who thinks always of the lord you can think of the lord the family tree one telephone call you know where to buy what to buy during sickness time let thy food be thy medicine that particular family knows it but many organizations and ashrams has dragged in a lot of the children 
in the name of Lord, in the name of God, to serve the God. And they created a lot of brahmacharis, sannyasinis, church fathers, mullahs. And these children, when they come out of the houses, then who will take care of the house? You have broken the house. And now you are talking about peace and shanti. And you know very well it is not going to happen in your ashrams or temples or masjid. So those who are listening to me, please make sure. I am not against ashrams or temples or masjid. But if you do not make your house strong, and if you don't understand the first beautiful love relationship, you cannot go and love anybody. There also in the temples and ashrams, you create psychological problems even for the gurus and for the somajis. Yes. So please go back to your house. Strengthen the house. Somebody went and asked Mother Teresa, it seems. There is a lot of disturbances in the world. Wars on one side, theft, robbery on another side, diseases on another side. How can I contribute to the peace in the world. Mother Teresa said it seems she is also another Ma, Sharda Devi is another Ma. Maybe she is an avatar of Sharda Devi because they both are from Calcutta. So look at the language Sharda Devi spoke and Mother Teresa spoke same language. <laughs> Mother Teresa said first go to your house and create peace and the world will have peace.